you know, I live in North Carolina. I'm not familiar with this nice cold weather here. We've got hot weather at the moment. I make 10 pieces a year and uh, we're traveling. We've just traveled from uh, Denver, Colorado to come here. Uh, we got the spring there. We're getting the spring here. It takes three weeks to make a piece. And so we started yesterday. Luckily, the material had already been cut and the garden has been very helpful in helping us drill our holes and get started. I'm in the world of great volunteers. We've had volunteers working hard this morning. Uh, part of that task has been separating the willows out and trying to organize them in a way that uh, we can start using them. Uh, you can see our image behind us is we've got some really larger trees we put in the ground. But our first step is to lay the potential idea out on the ground and get a footprint and then uh, to drill a series of holes along that footprint and then put these larger pieces down in in the ground. So that's what we've been doing this morning. Uh, currently we're kind of cleaning the ground up. We know it's going to rain tomorrow. So we're going to put some chips down so that we can work in the rain. And uh, we'll, by tomorrow we'll be setting our scaffolding up and we'll get started on pulling the shape that we want and, uh, and then we'll go from there. The piece includes a, a kind of a wandering hallway, an interior vestibule, kind of a courtyard in there, and five towers. So I think everyone will really like it. It'll contrast well with Ufta Palace, which was our first, my first uh, work here at, at the Botanic Garden. I hope people will come out and watch us work. Uh, of course, uh, it's a little slow and tedious, but if you drive by or walk around, each day you see a new manifestation of the efforts we're making and eventually uh, see the illusion that we're trying to cast, which is going to be fantastic.